In this video, we're going to talk about the entity declaration in VHDL. As we can see here, I have a file which contains the general structure of a entity declaration. It's mainly divided into two parts. The header, which has a generic declaration, which is optional. We don't know what headers are, but we'll discuss them. We'll talk about them in future videos. We have the port declaration, which is how our circuit interfaces with the world. Inputs, outputs, and so on. Then we follow with the declarative part, and this declarative part is where we declare any signals, variables, and functions that might have to do with our entity, and they are all optional, so we don't need them, and we won't be using them for now. We will use them later when we get into more complex entities. Um, in order to see this in action, we're going to write the VHDL code for this circuit that we have here. We don't know what this circuit does. It's just a black box with some uh, inputs and some outputs and we're going to declare the entity for it in VHDL and that's all we need. We don't need to know how it behaves or what it does. All we need to know is the interface. So we start with the keyword entity followed by the name of our system. We will, I'm going to call black box and then the keyword is. Then we have the generic declaration, but as I said, we're not going to use it, so we're going to declare we're going to straight to the port declaration. And now we declare our inputs, so x0 and x1. Since they are the same type, we can write them in the same line and just separate them by a comma. We can that's how we can group some uh, of our inputs and outputs. So we can group them by type, and then we can uh, type the name of the type and the type of value. In this case, it's standard logic, and that's it. That's how you declare, in this case, the inputs. Standard logic means uh, that they are standard logic values, like one, zero, um, or undefined. There's in BHDL, standard logic value can take up uh, up to nine different values. Then we have the outputs with y0, y1, and y2, and we're going to declare this as an output. So they are type output and they are the standard logic type. And that's it, that pretty much. We don't have to add a semicolon at the last line because in the last line it's just a formality with VHDL, we don't need it. And we end with the keyword end, but I actually like to add the word entity followed by our entity name just because I think it's nice. I think it gives it a little bit more readability and looks a little bit more structured. Now this is a perfectly fine definition of our entity, however we can do a little bit more to improve uh, the code and make it a little bit nicer. So the first thing we can do is turn the, ca the, the, turn the keywords in our program to, to upper caps so they're easier to dis distinguish from the, other, from, from the other signals that I have described, in this case our inputs and outputs. The next thing that I can do is I can take and declare these, these variables, oh, these inputs and outputs in individual, in individual lines, because in that way it's uh, easier to, to spot any difference or to spot any, any error. So this is a nicer, more uh, visually uh, pleasing you know, aesthetic way of looking at the results or looking at your thing and, and actually we can actually we can actually do it like this and this way it looks even more tabular it looks a little bit more structured and it's easier to read so we haven't changed our code at all we just made it easier to find information visually in it which is very helpful when you are debugging anything we can keep improving our code by adding any comment we can do that by adding two dashes at, at any point in our line that will turn anything that's after the two dashes into a comment and then we can uh, enter any important information that's relevant to the code uh, there I mean this is probably not very relevant to, to right here but I'm just I just want to show you that you just write that and that concludes our tutorial for how to write an entity in VHDL. Thank you.